Yes, ma'am. I'll save him. And I will help. Me too, ma'am. Me too. All of you. To be my baby's godfathers. And that is how three lawless men with a price on their heads fell victim to destiny and became three godfathers. Their story is a legend of the Southwest. Filmed by John Ford, five-time Academy Award winner. Their story becomes the most unusual Western ever made. Taking a bath is the least of the troubles confronting little Robert. Robert William. Robert William Pedro. Why didn't somebody stop me before I promised that woman? Well, I don't want to grow no long white beard in the Yuma Penitentiary. Hey, my beard grow clean till it gets down to my foot. May it get a nest of prison rats before I break my promise to a dying woman. Who said I was Why breaking don't you my kill promise? kill the little fellow I now. Say I sure, was... eat him to the Why you chilly, given horse thief. Horse thief. Horse thief. Yes. A lot of boys stick up stagecoaches and banks and one thing or another. But a man that a dynamite a water hole in this kind of country is downright criminal. You heard Mr. Latham when he said $100 dead or alive. I'll add $50 to it. I'd like him dead. <laughs> And good morning, everybody. Welcome to Saturday Morning Western Roundup, our Christmas edition, if you will. I'm bringing this one to you from Monument Valley, which is very clear behind me. <laughs> Actually, I'm showing off my new green screen. I can put up all kinds of really cool backgrounds. So that's going to be a lot of fun as we go forward with these shows. Uh, this is a Christmas story, basically, uh, because uh, it's an allegory of the Christ child. And uh, Three Godfathers is a 1948 film uh, by John Ford, starring John Wayne, is a remake of his 1916 film that uh, Ford made with. Harry Carey Sr. Uh, Harry Carey was a good friend of his and, and made a lot of Westerns back in the day and was a big influence on John Wayne. And in the beginning of this film, it's dedicated to Harry Carey because he, he had died the year before. And it says, uh, the, to Harry, it dedicated to Harry Carey, the bright star of the early Western sky. It also stars, uh, and it says introducing Harry Carey Jr. Uh, who went on to make dozens and dozens of film and had a long career uh, appearing in westerns all the way up to uh, Tombstone in the 90s. Um, he might have made uh, some even after that. Uh, I'm just not sure, but that's the last time I remember seeing him. It says introducing Harry, Harry Carey Jr., but in fact, Harry Carey Jr. appeared in one of his father's films as a baby and had appeared in uh, as a young adult uh, in some early, maybe five or six other films before this. Um, why Ford gave him an introduction, I don't know. Uh, but this is this is a gorgeous film. Technicolor, uh, uh, shot by one of my 
favorite cinematographers, Winton C. Hawk. And it's the story of three outlaws on the run, and they come across a dying woman and her newborn baby. They make a deathbed promise to care and bring the baby to safety, uh, even at the risk of their own lives, because uh, as I said, they're on the run, and uh, Ward Bond and his posse are, are chasing them across the salt flats and the, basically the wilderness. They're trying to get to a town called New Jerusalem. So again, there's that allegory of the baby and uh, bringing it to, and uh, they have to follow a star. Uh, it's, it's like the wise men uh, story. Uh, it's filled with humor, danger, adventure. Uh, it really covers all the bases and uh, it, it's really a, a, a wonderful, wonderful film. Let me show you some images. Here's the poster. It's kind of small. Here's a shot of Pedro Armendariz, uh, the Duke, and uh, Harry Carey Jr. Notice the colors. Now, this is one of the reasons I like uh, Winton C. Hawk so much. Uh, how he frames the pictures when he's filming uh, a movie. There's this gorgeous shot where uh, uh, John Wayne is blocking the sun from uh, uh, off the face of the dying Harry Carey Jr. And when you pull back, there's a cross motif here. And look at his faces in shadow. That's beautiful. I love this shot because it shows you uh, there's no stuntmen here. These horses are riding across the salt flats, and that's John Wayne. That's Pedro Armendariz. Um, we can't be for sh tell for sure from this picture whether that's Harry Carey Jr., but uh, he grew up on and around horses, so I'm pretty sure it probably was him. But look at those horses just, you know, bearing down, and those are the guys riding them. Love that shot. I can't say enough about the cinematography of Winton Hawk, Winton Seahawk, I should say. Uh, his his use of Technicolor, uh, the way he frames the pictures, there's it, it, it's almost like Remington paintings. Um, and he he did this film, of course, but he also did The Quiet Man with John Ford, The Searchers, one of the greatest film westerns of all time, and she wore a yellow ribbon. Um, just gorgeous, gorgeous work. Another great shot. So, uh, let's go through the cast here. Who see who's in this? Obviously, John Wayne, Pedro Armendariz, Harry Carey Jr., Ward Bond, and then there's the regular litany of of John Ford players. Uh, that you see popping up in his films all the time. Of course, uh, Duke and Ward Bond, uh, Mae Marsh, Mildred Natwick, who was also in The Quiet Man, Jane Darwell, uh, who was in The Grapes of Wrath, Guy Kibbe, uh, Ben Johnson, the great uh, uh, rodeo star turned actor, ended up winning an Academy Award for The Last Picture Show. Uh, Hank Warden, another John Wayne regular. He Played old Moe's in uh, The Searchers. Uh, great, uh, another rodeo star uh, before he got into uh, uh, movies. Uh, Jack Pennock, uh, he's that, that mug that you always see um, in uh, uh, the Ford pictures. He uh, was a former uh, drill sergeant, I believe, in, in World War I and, the, in, and fought in, in combat there too. But he's got this face you just can't forget. It looks like it was hit with an ugly shovel, but. <laughs> He's in all these great films. Good stuff. Uh, so, if you haven't seen The Three Godfathers, you should check it out. Uh, it's a, a beautifully told picture. Uh, it avoids a lot of some... Uh, one of my critiques of John Ford films is that, you know, he goes, he goes back and forth uh, almost too far in extremes. Like he'll have these incredibly deep, dramatic things, 
And then he'll go to a comedy scene that is like something out of a slapstick film, you know? Um, and that, that juxtaposition of the two uh, types of storytelling, I, I find a bit jarring in some of his films. And this one is a lot more even. Uh, it has kind of a breezy feel all the way through it, um, but there's also some great uh, dramatic moments in it. Um, so, you know, if you haven't seen it, I suggest you uh, try and find it. It's, it's, it's really great. So let's see who uh, is in the room today. Oh, good morning, Dr. Mask. Uh, another one, new one for me, but it has the Duke. It must be good. <laughs> yes, it is. It's, it's a really good one. George is here. Good morning. Happy Saturday. A ho ho and Merry Christmas from England from Rob. Graham Nolan and the Ranch Dudes. <laughs> Pop Culture Avenger is here. Our usual cast of characters. Man of War 665, Neighbor of the Beast. Hail Amigos, hello. George Trevelo says, Ward Bond, one of the Hollywood's best. Quiet Man, Rio Bravo. It's a wonderful life and many, many more. Oh, yeah. Uh, he was... Um, uh, Ward Bond was in uh, just so many great movies. Uh, I forget what the list is of how many uh, Academy Award winning or nominated films he's been in, but it, it, it's huge. He was uh, ubiquitous. He was everywhere. Uh, he uh, he was a uh, really, really strong uh, personality, uh, and he used to rub a lot of people the wrong way. Um, even John Ford, uh, you know, used to when he would do close-ups of a horse from the rear and the uh, the horse's ass, uh, he called that the the Ward Bond shot. <laughs> nice, good friend, right? Cool cotton. Hello, Merry Christmas to everyone. Ha hope you have a great holiday. Same to you. Same to everybody. Concept sounds amazing. Yeah, it's great. It's it's a great film. Hyper Kaiju says, good morning, cowpokes. Watch the 1936 version last night, a darker version. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's right. There was there was another version. Um, and it had um uh, uh, Charles Bickford, I believe, was in that one. So if he's in it, it's gotta be dark. <laughs> he was such an angry dude in movies. With that gravelly voice it has. I saw this one Sunday afternoon, just a kid, and I remember becoming obsessed with condensed milk found with the Bible in the movie. <laughs> that's, that's right. Yeah. I like when they're they're greasing up the kid because they got this book on how to raise kids. So they uh, they find like a bucket of axle grease uh, underneath the, the wagon that the kid was found in. And so... Um, this is just wonderful shot of John Wayne's just huge mitt, you know, rubbing this this grease on the baby to keep keep his skin moist. Well, somebody just discovered I watched Treasure of Sierra Madre for the first time. That's uh, a great movie. It's an awesome movie. Vaughn is digging the new backdrop. Well, thank you. Picked up the green screen on uh, Amazon. It's really cool. I actually had to buy a new computer too because the green screen was so big it wouldn't fit where my other computer was. So I got another computer and put it in a spot where I could put this thing. What about? Ahoy, Mr. Nolan. Ahoy. We're not doing Navy shows. You should say howdy. <laughs> but thanks for dropping in. All right. So we got to imagine everybody is busy with the holidays and you know, doing a lot of stuff. Uh, so we have a, a little smaller audience today. But uh, I appreciate everybody that shows up for these things because um, without you guys, there's no point in doing it. So thanks for coming in. And um, I guess that'll wrap this one up. Um, I haven't decided on next week's Western. Uh, it's going to fall right after Christmas. Um, so we'll figure it out. And uh, 
Until then, I just want to wish everybody, you know, God's blessings uh, for you and your family. And I hope you guys have a, a wonderful Christmas uh, with friends and family. And uh, stay safe, stay happy, and we'll see you guys uh, next Saturday. Okay? Thanks for stopping in. We'll see you. Bye-bye.